What's up you guys? It's Lindsay and Riley here taking over the channel. We got Sage too. Say hi honey. Say hi, I'm eating my berries. Yeah. Hi. Well, Riley came over because we're like, we should film a YouTube video, but we didn't really know what to film. And then Riley started Googling herself and we feel like this was a good place to start. Riley, why don't you really read what Kay. it says when Here. I'll film her it and you. Okay. Okay. So she just typed into Google, Riley, Riley Arnold. Arnold. So it says, I was admitted to the Orlando Health. Well, it says like one of the questions is, is why was Riley in the Riley Arnold in the hospital? Basically it says I was di diagnosed with cyclic vomiting syndrome. Were you diagnosed with that? No. <laughs> it also says this is our mom. Oh yeah. That is definitely not our mom. That's our D mom's picture. We're going to have to call Wikipedia and fix that. <laughs> How, old is, um, how tall is Lindsay Arnold? 5'6"? No, I'm not 5'6". Why do they say that? It says, wait. I'm also not 27 years old. How tall is Riley Arnold? Riley Arnold stands tall, 5'6". Wait, 32 kilograms. What's 32 kilograms? I don't know, but how would they know your weight? I don't know. That is so weird. But they can also be impatient, critical, etc., narrow-minded, and selfish. Wait. Riley Arnold was born on a Sunday. She Were is you born on a Sunday? I don't know, was I? Probably. She is a renowned dancer in the United States and another neighboring country. Figure measurements and body stats. Riley Arnold stands tall, 5 foot 6 inches, and weight 32 kilograms. But they can also be impatient, critical, eccentric, narrow minded, and selfish. What? Where does it get what? that? How old is Riley Arnold? 16. Good job. Wow. Hmm. Does Lindsay Arnold have a child? Should we see my net worth? Yeah, let's see Riley's net worth. Yeah, I keep going down. <laughs> Boyfriends and affairs. She's <laughs> unmarried now. She She's single. single. <laughs> Breach. <laughs> okay, um, what's my net worth? Hi, Sagey. Well, yeah, looks like just... you don't have a net worth because nope, you're 16 I... years old and you don't have a net worth because that's normal. Net worth is approximately 1.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my money! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my gosh! Riley is one of the richest dancers. Wow, 1.5 million. Where are you heading, that girl? I don't know. Where are you heading, that money? In my room. I got it all in cash. Wow. Well, okay. There you guys have it. Wikipedia doesn't know everything. Don't trust the internet. For real. You hear that, kids? Don't trust the internet. Okay, well, I've got to put my groceries away, so we thought it'd be fun to, you know, just like chit chat. <laughs> do a little. Do a little life update of Riley Arnold because it's been a while since we talked about Little Miss Riley. Riley, talk to us, girl. How about you're this little host and you ask me questions? Okay, I'm a little host and I'm going to ask her questions. Hello, Riley. Hi. How are you today? I'm so good. Are you? Yeah. Tell us about your night last night. So, no. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ew, what is that? Is that just water? Towel. Okay, good. I know what Riley did last night and you don't know. Well, I just hung out with some friends. That was fun. I've just been doing a lot of that lately. Yeah, now that she can drive, friends. she's just like, I don't have to ask, I can just go. I can just go. But I feel like you don't, I mean, you're pretty good. I feel like I, once I got my license, I don't even think I was. Yeah. 
Sage, when you get your license, you're never gonna leave your mama, okay? When I got my license, I was never home. I literally think I slept at my house and that was the only time I was at home. So, yeah, you're much better than me. Um, okay, sorry, I stopped asking you questions. So, Riley, you made it about yourself. Typical. <laughs> How do you feel these days? I feel good. Well, let's talk about Lake Powell. So, we went on a trip to Lake Powell and Riley had some serious health issues. I did have some serious health As issues. As if she doesn't already have enough. So I was, before I came to Lake Powell, I was pretty sick and I thought I had what Sam had. Like that sore throat, strep throat. fever. I had a really bad fever and it was just like body chills, aches, all the things. And it wasn't COVID. And it wasn't COVID. I uh, didn't know what it was. I didn't ever get strep tested, so I wasn't sure if it was that or not. But we get to Lake Powell and I'm starting to feel a little better. I lost my fever. I don't have body aches, but I just have a little sore throat. And then, Second day in a lake pal, I started getting this rash all over my body. Not even a rash. It was like blisters everywhere. All over. Like blisters all over. So Brinley decided to give me this steroid shot to kind of like reverse it. And it helped a lot. It made the rash kind of go away. But it was just so crazy. I was we kinda sick. I was diabetes. All my sugars were like super high. And then like I bled through my Dexcom. So I was getting this like air bubble on my Dexcom. Hey, well, have you shown your Dexcom yet? I don't think we've shown the Dexcom. Look at this thing. Riley got a Dexcom, which explain what a Dexcom does. So a Dexcom just tracks your blood sugar and makes sure that you're good and it'll like well, alarm it, like, you. Yeah, it like sends her blood, instead of her having to prick her finger and take her levels every time, this just like, is constantly monitoring her levels and then it sends the information to her phone so if she's low or high she gets notified like pretty instantly i mean i feel like it's like 10 minutes delayed but it's pretty quick so then she can just like adjust and give herself insulin which is super nice so yeah it is very very nice and you just got that what like two months ago yeah i got it like i actually think i got it yeah a month after the hospital probably that's so nice yeah it was pretty awesome I feel like all of the extra things you were doing just made your diabetes symptoms like way worse yeah and it was just like i was sick i was worried about what i was eating we yeah i bled through my dexcom and it was like kind of sore so whenever oh, i yeah. touched it it really hurt and like it was just like a lot to handle but we made it i'm back i'm better than ever how do you feel like do you feel like you've got the hang of the whole insulin diabetes thing or not really i think i got a hang of it i kind of like know certain meals sometimes i'll just like be like I'm gonna get myself five units for this meal, and I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah, you just kind of have to. It's just so annoying because, like, you just watch people just like pop food in their mouth, and then it's just like, okay, we're good. Like, nothing's gonna happen to me. But like, I have to be like, okay, am I gonna eat six chips, or am I gonna eat eight, or am I gonna eat twenty? Like, I don't know. Am I gonna be hungry after this? Am I gonna want to have more food? Like, you can't just like eat. eat. <laughs> That's why I feel like you just have to find snacks like that are just keto and like diabetic friendly which sucks but yeah but yeah that is crazy it is honestly so freaking crazy watching like your little sister you're getting ready to eat and like i'm not even thinking i just when i'm hungry i just eat food but riley has to prepare she has to be like okay yeah i'm hungry i want a snack is it worth giving myself a shot or if i am gonna have this snack how much am i gonna have of it then push that much insulin like you're just constantly having to think which i'm sure it's do you feel like it's gotten better or do you feel like you still are pretty like well, it's just like kind of annoying because like, yes, there are food that doesn't have carbs and I've eaten all the things and I try to like, mm. like quench the hunger <laughs> with like non-carb foods. Mm. Oh, and, yeah. um, but I'm just sick of those things. Like I used to eat cheese a lot and now I'm sick of cheese. I used to eat bacon a lot. I'm sick of bacon, like eggs. Like I'm just kind of like sick of the things that yeah. I can't eat. Like I haven't had like Doritos or like Cheetos or like goldfish in so long because it's just like not worth my time you it's know not worth having to give yourself a shot and have to like count by like finger how many i'm eating and it's just yeah. it's a lot that but, a lot i mean but your diet's probably really good which i mean yeah, you I need to go much. on a diet but at least you're eating like at least you know you're eating good food yeah that's very true less sugar she's in a high good mood <laughs> You play with the camera. Hi. Hi. So recently, though, 
I put a brown spray in my hair. Oh, yes you did. And I was brunette for about 12 hours. And I posted a TikTok about it and people still think I'm brunette and they think I did it, but. You should just hide forever and never reveal yourself. <laughs> it actually looked really cute, but it was funny because Riley FaceTimes Sage all the time and every time he, she FaceTimes her, Sage will smile. But she FaceTimed her with the brown hair and Sage was looking at her like, like it took her a minute. <laughs> Did you say hi? You are being so cute. Hi. <laughs> Sage was very confused by the brown hair at first, but then I think she got, like recognized her voice and was like, oh, okay, that's Riley. Yeah, it was pretty funny. It's pretty much washed out now. Yeah. Was yeah. it just like, what did it feel pretty gross when it was in your hair? Yeah. And it's kind of still feels gross because I haven't gotten it completely out, but. Yeah. It'll take time. Well, what else, Riley? Tell us about dance. Ooh, you went to the... <laughs> Do you have any more dance competitions coming? Ooh, Riley got a new dress. I did, I got a new, new ballroom dress. dress. Do you have a picture of it we can put in here? I don't have a picture of it. No, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to wait. Lindsay, they're gonna have to wait and see if we're Oh, we're not gonna put a picture right here? No, no picture. Doom! <laughs> Doom! It's not gonna happen. Okay. But. I do have a new dress. I'm selling my old ones. Oh yeah. Ballroom dresses are pretty expensive and kind of crazy, but they're really fun. They're just expensive because like, you have to freaking rhinestone the crap out of them and rhinestones can be pretty expensive. And well, it's just a lot of hard work too to make yeah. a dress. So it's just kind of like labor it's like, intensive. It's not just like a dress that's like, oh, it's a size small. It's like a dress that is custom fit to your body. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but it's so fun. Yeah. I love it. When is your next ballroom competition? Um, my next ballroom competition, I think, is in August. I eat, well, I'm either going to Blackpool in England. We might be going to that one. Depends on COVID rules. We don't know yet. And then we have Embassy, which is like a nationals. It's where everyone in the world can go, so it's not really nationals, but like... Where is that? In Florida? Yeah. No, that's in... California, I think. Okay. And then I have my ballroom nationals in Florida in September, I believe. Gotcha. So yeah, it's all coming up pretty fast. It's pretty cool. And I'm excited. Um, when was the, you've already done a bunch of competitions with your decks common, right? Well, I've done only one ballroom competition, <laughs> competition with my decks common. I just wore an armband. But like you did your jazz competition with it in and you could see it. Mm -hmm. Does that it feel great. weird? Like, does it bump or like, does it get hit ever? No. I mean, you don't really when I wore it. the armband, it kind of hurt a little bit. Because it was like tight. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, it was like. <laughs> Baby down. Baby down. Okay, she's fine, but she just hit her head. She's a crawler now. She crawls everywhere. She pulls herself to stand up on things, which means she falls down on things. And she just fell and hit her head on the hardwood. But she's okay. We're gonna play in the living room now where it's a little softer. <laughs> you okay, right? Hmm. Seiji, are you okay? Did you bonk with your head? Yeah, I kind mm. of hurt. You wanna go crawl again? <laughs> Don't get hurt. I know, she's crazy here. Let's give a little Sage feature. Seiji, go get your toys. Hi. Okay, you toy. Yeah, <laughs> go get him. She's okay. She's okay. Back to resume the play. Oh, God. <laughs> she's just so clunky and like clumsy. She just falls on everything and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey bun. Whoa, that's fun. Okay. So, what were we talking about? But your decks come while you dance. Does it? It doesn't feel weird. Like when your partners bump on it, does it hurt? Um, no. I put it on my right arm because the partners touch that arm less than yeah, this one. Yeah, that's true. Can you put it on? Can you switch? Yeah, I can switch. Okay. One other thing, when you, cause you, so how often do you have to replace it? It's like ten days, right? Yeah, ten days, and you just have to do it like away from the last thing. Like how far away? Just like an inch, or like? Just it can't go back into the same spot it was at. How big is the hole when you take it out? Depends on like how painful or like if it was like. It really just depends. Sometimes it's really small and it like heals really fast, and sometimes it like scabs. It really just depends. Mm. I've never seen it. Yeah. How hard is it, it to get that tape off? Not too bad. You what just have you to use? just like rip it off like a band-aid. Okay, Riley. 
Have you met anybody since having diabetes that you're that has diabetes and you didn't know they had it? Or like people you know have been like, oh, I have it too. Yeah, there's been a lot. It's a pretty common thing that a lot of people get. So, yeah, it's crazy. A lot of people have it and I just... Didn't know. You just don't know. It's a very secretive... Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's so many people that have it, but I feel like it's very like... I don't know. You just don't really know about it. When and I went it's, to dance awards, so there's a lot of people who had like Dexcoms, which is pretty that's cool. crazy. That's so crazy because I feel like well, and it's like you probably never would have noticed it before, but now I do. But now I, do. I saw this kid the other day, and he was moose. No, no, watch out, bud. I saw this kid the other day, and it looked like he had one in his calf. Can you put it in your calf? What? He had a unit in his calf. I don't know if it was a Dexcom, but it was something. Can you put it in your calf or no? Probably not. Or did they tell you different places you could put it? I don't think you can put it on muscle. Oh. But so I you don't have muscle in your arm? Maybe you can you put it. You have muscle it. in your arm. Not there. Yeah, you do. Feel this. Oh, say, do you have muscle? No, like, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have muscle. I don't know. You have muscle, like, <laughs> everywhere. I don't know, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was a different kind of thing. But yeah, I was just curious if they like told you you could put it in your Did they only really say to put it in your arm? Yeah. Well, or, or you can, they, at Dexcom advertises it in your stomach. That's very common is in your stomach. Oh, but you didn't want to do that? No, because I just thought it'd be annoying. But I do want to try it eventually. Do you feel like boys are more into you now? <laughs> because they have babies. Are they like, hey girl. I could take you on a date and make sure your sugars go too, don't go too high. No? No. That's not happening? Yeah, it's not happening. Have you kissed a boy since having diabetes? <laughs> no. Wait, what? Riley! Have you really not? Are you no, lying to me? Wait, who? I'm not going to say it. You've Why kissed a boy since it? having diabetes? Uh, who did you kiss? It's been like four months. Who did you kiss? It doesn't tell matter. Tell me in my ear. Just tell me in my ear. You probably don't know him. I don't? I know. Have I heard his name before? Maybe. Who is it? Just tell me. Lindsay. Right here. No. I won't tell anybody. I won't even know him. Multiple people. No. <laughs> Wait, really? No, okay, I'm done. This no. is a terrible question. This is a fun question. It's a terrible I'm question. I'm trying to decide if you're being honest or you're joking. Just tell me the truth. Have you kissed anybody? Mm, you'll never know. <laughs> Sage, you better tell your mom everything about kissing and boys. She won't. <laughs> yeah, you won't. But you'll probably tell your Aunt Riley. Okay, guys, well, we hope you liked this kind of random, spontaneous video. We just yeah. thought it'd be fun to hang out and then just chat a little bit about <laughs> Riley's updated diabetes life because it's been a while since you did a video on it. Yeah, it has I been. feel like you've gotten really good at, like, you've gotten the hang of things. I feel like it's definitely, oh, you've definitely gotten the hang of your new lifestyle. Yeah so too well two thanks for watching oh what is that oh, say, you guys saw me get a boo boo yeah oops but i'm okay now okay bye everybody bye